All right, guys, first time I had the IROC out in a while. First video in a long time of the actual IROC. Uh, and it's uh, under a little construction right now. Since it's been sitting, eh, she's not gotten really rough, but over the last 10 years, the paint's starting to get rough. You know, I painted this car like uh, 04, I think it was. It's an amateur paint job by me. It didn't come out too bad, you know. It's always had a nice little shine to it and looked not too shabby for me being not a bodyman and why not also this crack here <clears throat> this kind of has always has been here but I've repaired it a couple times I actually just sanded it back down <clears throat> there's a little hot spot in the mud here I want to get that down and off the you know ground effect piece here and I'm gonna drill drill the end of this crack out just because this old timer a long time ago taught me you should draw out cracks or keep it from spreading. I should have did it the last time I messed with it, but I wasn't thinking. And anyways, well I'm gonna mess with this and see if I get that look a little bit better. It's probably in the flaws. If not, I'll have to get any ground effect. But I think I could I could touch it up to make it look um, you know, acceptable. At least by me. Maybe not by everybody out there, but I'll be happy with it. And uh a couple scratches I sanded out. I ended up getting on it. But yeah. Some spots over here where the paint's getting thin and up there where it's getting a little chip got chipped and it's like rusty, so I'm gonna get rid of that. And down of course in the wheel area back there was a little bit of rust coming through. That's not always been when I got the car, actually, that was pretty bad back there. I tried to grind it down and mud over it a little bit then. So, but for the most part, I've been keeping it in the garage since I've had it. The original owners didn't, it didn't, you know. And because of that, it got some rust in some little areas. It's much on here. Well, guys, this is where it's at. A month later, still pissing with it. Almost a month, though. Rain every day, every damn day, all the entire month, just about. Thankfully, Joel uh, was nice to him. He was pulling it in his garage here and parking it. We were slowly doing work on it. Every day, I'd come on, do a little sanding. I already painted the door and the front and hose and that, but. It, we're going to re-go over because we see one section where some mud came through on the fender where there was a dent. The nose came out actually remarkably good. But, uh, you know, I don't know. So we got to go over some things. We still got to go over the hood. We're going to re-go over this side. We were buffing, wet sanding, one other little spot. And we'll just redo this. This is when we do it all. We're going to get it right. So I want to try to get it as best as we can. and. So therefore we go over it. I'm painting this, painting this with one of the cheapest paint kits possible. That's why I painted it the last time. It was a Kirker paint kit. I probably had roughly paid $200 for the entire paint job on the car when I first got this car. And that was well almost uh, 15 years ago. Some were back in, I think it was 04. Summer of 03, one of them two summers. I had painted this car yellow. It used to be white. But I painted it yellow just because, you know. It was, my favorite color for one and I always loved it on third gens and I found a white one and like I said this car was wrecked when I started so for the most part I did do it justice for anyone that would sit there and say oh you you ruined a good car you ruined a good because it was the um, 87 pretty much like a 20th anniversary edition it had the four wheel disc the t-tops the 350 tune port it was white the silver stripes and at the bottom but uh it was smashed and the dude who had it before me he didn't take care of this car at all in fact it seen winners and everything else until i had gotten it so since the time i had gotten it it hasn't seen too many winners but it still had gotten started getting a little booger right down here at the corner here so it's one little spot we still got to do right here i gotten a big dent because the bastard ass kids down the road from me was bricking cars one day and I just happened to be one of the ones coming down the road when they were throwing bricks between the yards. And then over here I used to have a nasty, massive nasty ass dent right here. 
Yeah, it was kind of like right in this area. I mean, looking better. It's not 100%, but it's not No, I mean, it looks pretty damn good because it was bad. You can see a little bit of the body line. I guess once we get paint on it, we'll tell more, but yeah. the body line, it, it's there. See, it was like it was like right in here. There might be some wave there a little bit. A little, it's real bit, light. It's a little bit like in here. You can see how it was. Nowhere near like it was. How it was, but it was like we pushed too. most of it out, and then he hit it with a little skim coat. You know? It looks good, though. Okay, better. A lot better. See from the last time I painted, I was sloppy. I got paint on my wiring harness for the tail lights. Though I did grab another whole harness and section from a uh, junkyard car. One day I'm gonna switch it in there. I'm not really worried about it. I could go get it right now. In fact, probably switch it out because there's some plugs down in there. I was already looking at it. I think I'm gonna go dig it out in my basement. That way they're not painted on. You know, I mean, I, I try to keep things neat. I don't want overspray and shit like that on areas. You know, shouldn't have to be on. I mean, you're not really ever gonna see that, but. It's just how I am. I try to be as neat as possible, you know. I'm going to try to get another new strip for around the window, too. Might just get a whole new windshield put in. Things down the road. I don't know if I'm going to keep these black stripes. I probably will, but probably add them on all the way down to the end of the nose now. Because this hood actually came, came off of my 91, and I just added on the car ever since. The hood that was on here is on the 91. You know, Joel's going to try. He wants to mess with that little dent right there, get it better. There was mud on it from previous. I actually had gotten that fender from uh, Junkyard a long time ago, and it had a couple little flaws in it. Like, there is a little flaw right here at the very beginning of it, but I'm not gonna get picky about that either, you know? What are you gonna do? I wore a whole new fender, but down the road, that's no big deal. We could put our fender on it, paint it, and bolt it on. Yeah, it could be like that one over there, the aftermarket one I got, and fit like shit. It might not fit, yeah. Maybe. Yeah, that thing fit like shit. It's still got a little high edge on it, corner there, spot needs tap to kind of tap down, but. Eh, little, tiny little things. I'm not going to get too picky about it. I could sit here and keep picking all day about the little things, you know. The main thing is the car was starting to get a little rough. The paint was fading. Uh, I had one previous run in the fender. I, I, I never got out, and I hated it. I never sanded it out. Just let it go. It didn't bother me that bad, but as time went on, it started to bother me that bad. Uh, we got to mask the rest of this off and give you guys an update vid. There will be an update vid added into this one. And you'll see the next step till it's all done. You know, we're coming a long way here with the old, the old I Rock. I had to peel my letters off the door. I got another uh, lettering kit. Uh, got everything. I got the entire um, stripe kit, letter kit for the decals. I got um, new ground ground effect rocker emblems and the back bumper emblem, but I can't seem to find out where I put them. I got the 5.7 logo. A bumper, a new one of them, They're everything pretty much. So, well, guys, this is where we're at. Been at this all day, sanding and going over looking for little pit marks and little dents and shit. And probably should get another fender for the front, but we tried. We tried our best on it, you know. Uh, shit. There's a big mound there. It's kind of a dent there. It's not down all over. Yeah. We'll help that. Got her all deep badged, wet sanded, real good. And there were all the little dings, little rust marks. A couple of dents was in the wheel well there. I tried to do my best straightening them out, small things. was a big chip here in the paint, but uh, it's pretty smooth now. See the black. Didn't want to go that deep with it, but get rid of it. Then this other piece here, I have to get another one of these. There's a little chip down there too to take care of, but I actually got one of them in the basement. Probably should just bring it to spray tomorrow. Doing a little walk around here.
The light years is better because there's a big dent fucking here. Like I said, big dent there. The dent that was back there. The problem in the fender there. You know, in fact, you can still see right there. Whatever it whacked up inside of there caused it to dent, dent the fender a little bit. But Joe hammered it down, hit it over the mud, hit it with a board. And that's where we came out to be at. That's where we stopped at. We don't want to get too crazy with it. Maybe I'll get another fender down the road if it doesn't look right. A couple of pit marks up top of the pillar there. I sanded them smooth. Went over it with a light coating of mud. Hit it with some primer. Still a little, maybe. It's just show a little blemish there. I don't know. I'm not too concerned on it. I'll go over it again. But tomorrow's another day. And this is where we're at right now. We're almost ready for painting. A few little touch-up spots we're going to go over. A couple more spots to primer. I said I gotta do some work on this piece where we're sanding a little bit better and might take the ground effect off, off on this side too. I started to, but eh, took it off on the other side because the other side needed some more detail. There was a break in it. We got that over here. This is where there's a big crack. Something came up through here, it was cracked through here. So I sanded that all smooth. That's why you need a lighter one. Anyways, yeah, update, that's about it. Tomorrow's another day. Alright guys, I'm just showing you on a website, okay? This is the Smart Shoppers Auto Body Supplies. This is on the internet. Um, it's SA-11, or I should say 11105. Um, Viper Yellow Kirker Single Synthetic Enamel Paint. This is the paint I use. It's $55,000 for a, a three-quarter of a gallon can so this is what it looks like right here smart shoppers auto body supplies SA-11105 Viper yellow Kirker single synthetic enamel paint excuse me I had to swallow it it's awesome guys this is awesome this is the paint I used right here SA-11105 Viper yellow Kirker single synthetic enamel paint it says a gallon, but uh, it's actually, I think, three-quarter of a gallon when you get it, you know. But when you add your reducer and your um, hardener to it, you'll end up anyways with more than a gallon. So it's enough to paint the whole car for sure, as long as you don't make any mistakes. You'll have more than enough to do your whole car. Awesome paint, I'm telling you guys. You, you have no idea how this came out for me. I mean, this is the cheapest paint job you could possibly do to your car and put a professional paint on it. I can't see this paint lasting much longer at $55. This is going to go up to about $95, maybe something like that. That's just the way things are. This is going, when, once this catches on and people realize how good that this paint shines for the price, you know, it doesn't hurt. I could actually put another coat on my car. I put about four coats on it almost. I mean, there's at least... The first tack coat, I went over the second coat, I went over the third time, then I went around it just a little bit more, seeing any spots that might have been thin. I wanted to put one more good heavy coat on it. I mean, I might even go over this car, light wet sand the whole paint again, mask it all off, and shoot it one more good coat over the already, you know, coat that's on there. Don't know how visible that is, but I just see it as uh, stiffening up the, thickening up the yellow, so, because the more you wet sand this, and buff it, the shinier it keeps getting too, you know, you just wet sand it, buff it when you're done, if you've got a high or a dry spot, I'm telling you guys, this paint came out beautiful, um, I got great, I, I'd give this a five star review, versus price, versus how it comes out, I mean, you cannot go wrong, you see my car in this video, if you've seen it in person, you would be like, wow, it, it really gleams for a paint job that cost me under a hundred bucks in support of actual paint stuff and I'm saying maybe I spent another hundred on supplies like sandpaper we'll say maybe not two hundred on sandpaper plastics and stuff like that to match the car with tape and that but you can't go wrong here you just can't this is awesome this is a great price um, your car is looking old and dull Try out their other colors. They got Viper Red. They got other ones. I mean, it, this this right here, though, I'm, I love the yellow. Yellow looks good on my car to me. It's my favorite color for a ride, um, other than black. And I just like this. It looks great on her. So give it a shot, guys. Thanks for watching. Well, guys, here's where we're at. I'm pulling uh, the plastic back off some stuff finally. 
She's got a nice new yellow shine to her. You know, for some reason, the bugs today really like jumping on it. A few little, few little minor spots, you know. We might have had one or two little critters jump on it when we were doing it. We're well, nothing but a little wet sand. Can't take care of now, you know. I mean, shit, this car was terrible before. You have no idea how bad the paint had lost its shine. And not even so much losing its shine. You know, shit. It was scratches and... The bumper I had backed into something real lightly once and spidered the corner of the paint there. I tried to touch it up, it only made it worse. You know, little things like that, you know. And the car itself, even back here, I had a couple little chip marks. And then there was a couple other little sand marks too, like DA marks, you know. A couple of dents. We got, we tried to get all them dents and everything out while we were here. I mean, we did two weeks of work on it and, but like body work wise. And we probably could have got a little bit better in a couple little areas, but granted, it freaking rained like every day but two of them days. So, therefore, hey, what are you going to do, you know? Redid inside the jams. That one probably could have came out a little bit better, but this door sticking. What happened was I had. Uh, bumped the door shut before it was actually totally dry over there so it caused a couple of white marks in it. I'm gonna try to wet sand it out. If not, I could always touch up the ground effect. It's not that bad. It's not that bad at all. Because I did take the ground effects off the bottom there, but I ended up setting them back on there. So when we painted them, well, I know what it was. It, it didn't, he, we should have went over with another coat. We'll do another wet sand and spray on that inside there. I, 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 it's no biggie. I, 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 yeah. A little spot there to come out. Yeah, man. Hey, this is a do-it-yourself paint job. You know, I didn't take it to Mako. I didn't take it to uh, Earl Schraub <laughs> or any of them guys, you know, for a cheap paint job. But I did a cheap paint job myself, you know, for the hell of it, just to see. This paint kit was a Kirker can. I paid $60 for that can. And then I... Uh, Bought the hardener and the reducer to mix with it. Roughly all together in this kit, plus sanding paper, plus time, plus buying plastic stuff. You know, I bought a box of plastic rolls so I could use. Made things a little, made life a little bit easier on the masking part. But uh, roughly four hundred dollars under four. This is a four hundred dollar paint job you're looking at right here on this car now. It's a four hundred dollar paint job, and I didn't freaking um, wet sand or buff anything yet. Like I said, one or two little flaws in the bodywork I noticed afterwards, you know. That's the little pit mark from a little mud work on a dent back there. But, I mean, for the most part, man, we tried to straighten this out back here on this left side. It was hit, you know. And I tried, you know. And it looks pretty damn good for amateur work, you know, for just doing it yourself, doing it at home. And the kids hit that with a brick up top that pillar back there one time, you know. So... Kirker. This is a Kirker Viper Yellow paint finish. It's just a single step paint too, you know. It's nothing crazy. So it's cheap. But not bad for cheap paint. Not bad at all. Like I said, it got a, it got a real beautiful yellow shine, you know. I only see like maybe one or two little spots where my, where my buddy when we were spraying. We got maybe a little bit of overspray right there in this little area but that'll buff off he's probably doing a door and it came off mist onto it you know that'll buff off all that will buff off and then we'll you know what i'm saying or wet sand it with like two thousand buff it you know and it's going to look like a million dollars after that i mean it gets really going to blend you know it's going to bring out the entire shine of this job you know so can't wait can't wait this is it guys this is Trying to do the car up, keep it nice, you know, keep it somewhat nice. I got new door, door jam seals, and I got a lot of new shit, everything, decals, the whole nine yards. What do you see when I'm totally done? This is just a, one more walker round of uh, the second step, you know, pretty much the first couple videos I made was getting the tour down and prepped and ready for a paint.
Now this is painted process. The next process is now getting all my shit back on it and wheels detailed and you know the car wet sanded and buffed. So it's not a one two three process either. You know, it doesn't help that it kept ha it kept having the rain and everything else. A couple of things I'm gonna do down the road that I do have. Um, these little corner pieces, it's jacked up on that front side a little bit. I'm going to get another one of them. It's not broken painted. I actually have one at home. I should have brought it here for it, and I didn't. I did that with a wing, actually. I brought extra wing. I brought an extra wing, and we repainted that wing. But then there was a grease spot in the center of it that we didn't wipe off of it, probably. Or, in, or prepping. Somehow we missed it. This is my old one here. And the reason why I didn't use my old one was... It's hard to tell, it really is, but I used to see a couple little ripples in it and I didn't like them. So I got another one that was looked a little more straight. It was like somebody DA'd this once before and burned some waves in it. And I kind of like them and I wasn't going to mud that whole thing and try to sand it. Just to get a couple little waves out of it I didn't like. It's real hard to tell really though, but you know, I was trying to get this thing as clean as possible again. And this is where I'm at with it. And this is an 87. And it's not the original color at all. It was never yellow. It was actually white with the silver and the black. That's how it was when I originally got it. And I painted this car yellow as my own personal choice years ago. You know, when I first got the car, it was already actually um, in pretty damn rough condition. And I originally painted it the same cheap yellow paint over 10 years ago. And now this is 10 years later and I'm doing it again. And hey, there's a lot of cool stories in them first 10 years of when I did paint this car, you know. Like it was 2004 when I did it, you know. And I got some stories from them first two years. You know, that was pretty awesome. It looked good the first time, you know, outside. Maybe one run I had, I never wet sanded out. And a few other little things. But, you know, I tried to cover it pretty solid then. And it looked good like this just now, you know. Other than a few, few more runs that... I had then. I didn't happen this time, which is good. I probably got one little sag I think I've seen on this whole job. It was on this side here. I'm going to wet sand that down. I got one little sag. Yeah, right here in the fender. This is it. One little sag right there. It's real light. Like you can't even really see it, you know? It's there. Now. But, uh, yeah, we'll wet sand that out. Shit. See, it looks good. This is the shady side, and I can just see for cheap paint man got a great finish I mean I'm happy with this when I get my decals I got a decal kit and my logos and my emblems and all that back on it's gonna look real good you know it's gonna look real good can't wait well another video to come guys thanks for watching this is a $400 paint job on an IROC Z that I've had for years and like I said a few little things I got one little mark on the back of that wing I got a buff out but overall everything looks great it's a long way from where it was at and I'm happy with it. Well, guys, you just wonder how the car turned out. The only thing I have left to do is the wing and the deck lid. I ordered another one to do, so I'm just gonna paint that off the car. I wanted to show you, and it's so it's so crazy that you can see well, the wing was wet sanded. I did wet sand it, so that's why it's also dull. But you could see a huge difference in the yellow. I mean. It's freaking Emac, man. I'm so happy with this, how it came out. This is Kirker Yellow. It's a cheap yellow paint. You could actually find this yellow on, I think it's called Auto Body Supplies something, Smart Shoppers, Auto Body Supplies. $55 a gallon, or a three quarter gallon. Let's get some little, let's do Just trying to give you a nice walk around of how this paint came out. It's Kirker. Viper Yellow, SA-11105. And I got a few little things I could have uh, I could have gotten out of this. But um, for the most part, I'm very happy how this came out because this car had all kinds of little imperfections after the last couple years. You know, me driving, I banged the corner over there, banged that side, hit the nose. I mean, there's so much. I got to put my plate back on. Got a new emblem on the nose. Got new rocker emblems down there. And same with the back bumper. I gotta put my um, tune port uh, emblem back on the bumper too also. Give this view of this side here. I can't really step back too far to the gate, but so I got give you guys a good view of how this all came out on this car. You know. 
Yeah, man, it's a huge difference. Huge difference. Like I said, uh, the wings are the only thing I didn't do. And um, I'm going to get to that probably within a week or so. Oh, hey, when that happens, we're banging stuff off the car already. A few little dirt marks already. But uh, overall, for, for a paint kit that's so cheap, you'd be amazed how this came out, you know. I got birds pooping on it already, but you're going to have that. Also, something else I've done since the last time I had this video online with my car. I switched everything. I switched everything over to a surf belt setup. I actually got. Um, I did have the small pump in there at first, and I twisted it and bent it a little bit to work because this setup came off of a uh, 90 Camaro platoon port. So there was a little modifications I had to do. In fact, there was a lot of modifications I had to do. One was the fuel lines. You can see they're all jacked up now. So I'm going to get two new custom fuel lines made for this. And because obviously they changed the fuel lines from 87 tune port style to when they went to the surf belt style. They gave t new fuel lines and I didn't think of that. When I bought the uh, brackets and that from the junkyard, I didn't think I should have grabbed those fuel lines. You know, didn't realize they changed that much on them. But anyways, yep, so now it's got a serpentine belt set up on it. I also got the bypass pulleys for the AC and the smog pump only because the smog pump was making a little bit of a ticking sound and I couldn't stand it and, you know it was like a t -t 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 I could hear it everywhere and I changed the pump put another one on there and it, it got quieter went away but then it didn't take long and that pump was making noise too you know what the hell is up with them smog pumps they sit it's like they sit for two years in your basement the damn things lock up you know, I bought two good ones used and had them on the side and somehow just being down in my basement caused them to get, you know, corroded up and locked up. <sighs> yeah, little bird poop mark. Yeah, other than that though, guys, I mean, this is Kirker Viper Yellow and you can see I painted this outside my buddy's garage, you know, and for a job done outside, not in a professional paint booth. I mean, this came out pretty pretty good, you know. If we'd have had it in a building, had a little bit more time, because the rain kept hitting us, and we, it, every time it rained, it, we would just end up stopping what we were doing. So it really delayed a lot of other body work. It delayed a lot of uh, patience in us and me, for sure, because I was getting frustrated with the rain every day, and I was just losing patience, you know. And, I mean, yeah, we were able to wet sand it while I was in the garage, but it just wasn't the same because his lighting in there wasn't great, and it was not like rolling it out into the parking lot there and looking at it in the sunlight and seeing all the perfections in the light you know but I'm happy here man I'm happy man it's like my uh, I rock got a new touch to it I could take it to the car show again not worry about oh why doesn't the back corner of that bumper match uh, ooh, what happened over here damn you got a big dent there oh man this is looking horrible man you know I mean I love this car I had it forever and Mainly, really, reason why I haven't been making too many videos lately was because its conditions have gotten so bad over time. I was like, the tail wasn't even worth recording. <laughs> you know, the thing was getting all banged up again. Well, guys, I got it on. And I would have liked to have gotten it over just a little bit more. But oh well. I started it a little bit before, maybe almost a good bit before, a quarter inch or so before that line. But, it, hey, it looks good and it's going to have to do. Um, I was thinking they probably relatively line this thing from the start of this red to the end of this one because roughly that emblem is the same size from this black to the end, to the end of the black on the tail light. You know what I'm saying? And that's probably how they line that thing, really. It's close to it. I mean, I'm, not all, I'm, I'm probably off a quarter inch, if anything. So, but not too shabby. Um, I'm happy with it. It's a new emblem. It's on there. Cars come along. I'm happy with it. Like I said, this paint job didn't cost me that much other than, you know, a few little extras and decals I bought. And I just wanted to make it look as nice as I possibly can. There's already dirt all over everything. I tell you, don't take long, guys. Don't take long. All right.